What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at another CPU cooler from Sith. This is their Tatsumi and it's made to be very small, very compact, more for a smaller form factor system. So let's go ahead and take a look. The Tatsumi comes in a nice retail box. The box actually isn't much larger than the cooler itself. Um, there's a ton of information all around the box really in a bunch of different languages. So again, if you are at the store, you're kind of going to get a good idea of what the cooler is all about before you buy it. Let's jump inside and see what all we have. So it looks like everything comes nicely protected as you can see here and we'll try to get it all out. So we have the heat sink part first. I'm gonna try to do this. There we go. So we have the actual heat sink. And it looks like this is gonna be all of our mounting hardware and then our cooling fan. So as far as your accessories and all that goes, I'll get all this out. And I always like to look at the accessories, especially the um, the installation guide because these can either be really bad or really good. So looking at the installation guide, it looks really good actually. You guys can kind of see that. Uh, we have full documentation, full pictures, all of that. Um, so it's gonna give you, you know, step-by-step -step instructions how to get the cooler installed, which of course is good. And then of course we have all of our mounting um, hardware for everything. This supports all modern sockets. I'm not specifically sure on, on uh, 2011 V3. I know it supports socket 2011 on the Intel side, but I'm not sure about the, the newer V3. And we do have our thermal paste in here. Um, it does come in this little pouch though. I'd rather see it in a syringe. But you have all that and then you have the rest of, of course, all of your mounting hardware and all of that. And then we'll take a look at the cooler itself. So this is a tower cooler. Um, if you're familiar with coolers, a tower cooler is just like what it says. It looks like a tower. It's a single tower cooler here. So we have our heat sink fins here and then we have our heat pipes that come out of the base. The top, if you guys can kind of see that does have the Sith logo there. And you can actually see the heat pipes um, are topped as well with a uh, silver coating there. So they're not like the typical copper that they are, which I'll show you. If we look at it this way, you can actually see how the um, heat pipes go up from the base of the cooler. So of course, you're gonna see that the uh, heat pipes start at the base and go up into the cooler. And the reason they do that, of course, is they're gonna transfer heat from the base of the heat sink all the way up into the um, actual heat sink tower. And then your fan right here, your fan is going to exhaust it out of your system. That's basically how this works. Um, the fan itself is uh, Sith's own Slipstream 92 millimeter PWM fan. PWM means that the hotter that the temperature gets on your CPU, the uh, faster this fan will spin. So if you're not doing a lot of work, it's going to spin slower, which actually means it's going to use less power. And on top of that, it's actually going to be quieter. So you'll have that. And you can install this on the front or the back, however you want to do it, really. I'm not sure if they give you an extra set of... No, they don't give you an extra set of fan clips. Um, a lot of times when you can install two fans, companies will give you two sets of fan clips if you want to buy a second fan. But there's only one set in here. Um, we'll take a look at the base. You guys can kind of see that. The base... Um, let me take this piece of... Yeah, the base has a almost mirror-like finish. I know it's gonna be really hard to see in the video. Nice finish, no machining marks at all. Looks really great. So what that means is that we're gonna have great contact with our CPU, um, great you know, fluid contact, which is good because you don't want bad contact with the CPU, obviously, because you're not gonna get that heat transfer. And again, you can see our heat pipes here. These are thicker copper heat pipes. Um, three heat pipes that go up in a U shape. That's typically what we see with a tower heat sink. Um, so that is basically it. Again, this is made to be the, you know, a smaller cooler, a, a very, very small cooler, smaller systems, maybe a home theater PC or even a smaller form factor system. That's what this cooler is about. So make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.